Cal, a hard fought win, perhaps harder than you thought it would be tonight? Yeah, it's very sloppy. Very sloppy indeed. I'm, uh, I'm a bit disappointed, a bit embarrassed with my performance tonight. Did you think you had done enough? It looked like a fairly nervous uh, corner there at the uh, readout of the scores. Yeah, I, I thought I'd done enough. I thought, I thought the scores were a bit wide. Um, but I thought, I 100% thought I'd won. Um, you know, I was the aggressor throughout the whole fight. Um, and yeah, I just wasn't busy enough. I felt a bit sloppy tonight. Um, yeah, so I've got, I've got to be better than that. You told us at the press conference that you wanted to win, but make a statement to get those unification fights. Is that perhaps where the disappointment comes, that you didn't make the statement that you wanted? Yeah, yeah, I never made the statement I wanted to. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in my performance. I'm not happy with that at all. But um, I won, I keep my title, and um, I go back to the drawing board and, um, and, and continue to learn and improve. Promoter Eddie Hearn, winning is ultimately what matters, but Cal's obviously disappointed in his performance. Can you secure those unification fights next? What are the chances? Sure, yeah, I think he was a bit flat. I mean, I thought the, the scorecards flattered him. He gave away a couple of sloppy rounds. I thought he won the fight by two rounds, but, you know, he's better than that. And I think we need to move forward for those big fights because there is a danger of him becoming a little bit stale. You know, that's another voluntary defence. You know, tough. This is a business. You've got to go out there and, and produce a workmanlike performance. He boxed well tonight, but nowhere near to the levels he could do. And I think maybe he's at that stage in his career where he needs those big tests and, and those big challenges and risks to bring the best out of him. That must be next. It must be. Whether it's Gonzalez or whether it's unification fights, if we don't make them now, he may miss the boat on those big fights. So he didn't get lucky tonight because I thought he just deserved to win. But the, the, the scorecards flattered him. He's still world champion. But he must be in those big fights come spring next year. And they will be in America because that's where the money is for Cal Yafai and the big fights are going to be. Whether it's Rung Savai, whether it's Gonzalez, whether it's Ankarjas, they're the tests he need now. Because if we don't make them now, I think we may look back and think we've missed the boat a little bit. And we can't afford performances like that against opponents he should be beating more comfortably and losing everything he's worked for without diving into those risks. So those risks must come next. For now, well done, still world champion. But next year, the next fight must be a major, major test and challenge for Cal Yafai, in my opinion. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Cal. Thank you. Well, it wasn't an easy night, was it? But a win nonetheless for Cal Yafai. He defends his WBA title for the fourth time. Uh, Cal, Johnny, saying there he was embarrassed by his performance. Very disappointed. Don't, don't be embarrassed. I, I think Cal uh, underperformed. I don't think he won. Uh, I, I think he can box a, a lot better than what we saw. I don't, I, I don't think he won the fight. Uh, I think Lady Luck was on his side tonight. Were you surprised and by the cards? I was very surprised by the cards. I thought the fight was a lot closer than that. So even if you did give it Cal, you wouldn't give him by such a margin. I just think I know Cal can box a lot better. The beginning of the fight, I think he was a little complacent. Thought it, it was a done deal. Then he realised that Gonzalez was more of a handful than he realised. And it, it was too late because he'd given away a few rounds already. Well, Carl, on social media, the general consensus was that Cal was having a, quite a tough night. It was a very close fight, closer than expected. Yeah, it was close. I had him, I had two or three rounds at the end. You know, I, I was making a mental note of, of my score, and I thought he did enough to win. So, on that note, I'm disagreeing with Johnny in the fact that I thought he'd won. Johnny thought he'd lost, but that's how the fight went. The scoring in boxing is very subjective, subjective as we know. But I think the right man won. Cal did fire land with some nice looking power punches. And, um, you know, put Gonzalez on his back foot through long periods of the fight. Maybe he didn't put flashy combinations together, maybe he didn't put the work rate that we wanted to see. But all in all, it's another win, another world title defence. He'll go away and he's got things to work on. Dave, what, what was your assessment of it? He seemed to be a bit flat tonight. What was that down to, do you think? Do you know what? I said it earlier on. I think that I don't think they did the weight right. I don't think they did the weight right. And when, when you don't feel great at the weight, you're lethargic. To me, tonight, he, he, everything he did was forced. Everything was forced. And he, grind, he, he grinded out a win. Now, whether he, I, I thought it could have gone around either way. Personally, I, I kind of thought that he, he lost the fight. I thought Gonzalez just out-hustled out him. Um, but regardless of that, he, he grinded out the win. He forced everything. It never really forced. got going. He never, he never maybe flowed anything. Well. You know, the lack that, of... that can come from that, when you're struggling to uh, weight. It, it, or it comes from when you've either overtrained or you're struggling to weight. Now, you, you can get anybody down in weight, but you won't be able to tie your shoelaces if you haven't done the right way. We talked about it at the top of the show. He did say he tried a different way of making weight, of water loading earlier on in the week and then drying out laterally. Was that perhaps... I don't the... think he looked physically drained. I think, I think the performance could have been better. I think the lack of atmosphere in terms of heads and bums on seats it's busy, but it's not a capacity in terms of 
Why is there hundreds of people rather than thousands? So there's no extra gear. I, did, I saw him earlier on today, and I did say to him, I said, be careful, because obviously we, well, I've had Jay McDonald box here a couple of times, and I did say to him, be careful of the atmosphere. Don't let the lull and, it can and no feel atmosphere flat, can't make it? you just go lethargic and, 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 and into a lull Eddie, yourself. Eddie, Eddie was right. He needs it fights where where he's pushed, where he's, he's asked to produce something special. Get the unification fights with him. You'll see a completely different performance from him. But based on that performance, Dave, you spoke about grinding out the wins. Yeah. He can't really afford yeah. to have many not, more. Not, not when like fighting, he's going to unify, not, can he? If, if he's if he's fighting the top guys in his division, it needs to be ten times better than that. He cannot afford that because otherwise he's just going to get beat. But I understand with fighters, you've won a world title and you keep having these treading water fights. Mentally, it's very very that's hard a, to get that's up. That's the responsibility of yes, being a world champion. It is. It is. Yeah, to, to keep it is. the world champion. But what you've got to understand is, look at what he did as an amateur. A lot of these kids in amateurs that are, you know driving around in flash cars and all this, they're wanting to reach for the elite straight away. Now he's won his world title. He's probably thinking, I'm gonna now gonna be fighting all these big names. He's seen all the super flyweight division that was going off in America, and he wants to get amongst that, and he's not, you know. And and sometimes that can just make it flat. I'm not making excuses for him. He was terrible tonight, and he, he knows that. But the thing is, you can look at the kid's face. He knows that. You know, everyone can say what they want. He knows that he's he was terrible. Well, he said it. Yeah.